We are at Martin Luther King National Historic Park. And at this place is not only the house that he was born in, but his tomb where he was uh, buried. So we're gonna check it out while we're here in Atlanta. We're at the visitor center, but it is closed for COVID. Closed for COVID. Understaffed for COVID. We can't get you towels for COVID. <laughs> All right, this is kind of interesting. Uh, it says, Behold, the baptism of the infant Kizzy by her father, Kunta Kinte. This plaque explains that statue. Ancient African ritual, lifting newborn child to the heavens, reciting these words. Behold the only thing greeted. Behold the only thing greater than yourself. This is Ebenezer Baptist Church. Uh, Martin Luther King became a pastor here at the age of 19. And he was the co-pastor here in 1960 up till his assassination. So I'm at the Ebenezer Baptist Church right now. I was gonna to try to go in, because a lot of times you can go into these churches. But uh, like everything else, it is closed for COVID. Isn't that just great? Are you gonna come over here? A shot of the neighborhood around the church. Of course, you can see the skyscrapers in the distance. And my wife smoking her e-cig. Are you coming over here or not? <laughs> Whoa. By the way, a little more information about this church. Uh, in addition to Martin Luther King's funeral being held here, so was John Lewis and Raphael Warnock, who is currently a senator, is actually the pastor here right now. All right, the eternal flame, symbolizing continuing effort to realize Dr. King's ideals, which is right here across a walkway from his tomb. So this is where Martin Luther King is buried. Looks like next to his wife. So now we are heading to um, MLK's birth house. And this is the road to that place across the street here. And you can see a crowd of people up there. That must be where his house is. So just showing you a little bit of the neighborhood around the birthplace of Martin Luther King. I don't know what that building is. It's empty, whatever it is. <laughs> Looks like an old firehouse, doesn't it? So in answer to the question, yes, it is a fire station built in 1894. And it's closed <laughs> because of COVID. <laughs> Interestingly, these are residences across the street. Like the houses all look exactly alike, don't they, huh? Um, people still live here. So, so this guy's trying to get his truck fixed over there. <laughs> so, anyway, MLK's house is right up here, a couple hundred feet. So this is it. This is the home that Martin Luther King was born in. Oh, there it is then, huh? Interesting that this is where he started life. And just a five minute walk that way is where his tomb is. Obviously we can't go in here, huh? Probably not gonna be able to go inside. Everything else is closed for COVID, yep. Yep, I'm already seeing it. Martin Luther King Jr. National Historical Park. Building closed. So there it is. So birth home of Dr. Martin Luther King, built in 1895. How about that? It's actually a pretty nice house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, definitely. It's decent. I mean, I don't know what it looked like when he lived here, but 
Now I'm standing on the porch of Martin Luther King's birth house. This is the what you see. And a lot of homes where people still live. Interesting. I'm gonna go down and look at the garage. Oh, there's no garage. Let's see if we can go in the backyard. Yeah? So we are gonna go to Martin Luther King's backyard of his house, the place he played when he was a kid. This is a ni pretty nice house. <laughs> yeah. Did he, was it said that he grew up in poverty? I don't know. This is, nobody said that? Okay. This is a decent, this is a decent house. So this is the back view of where Martin Luther King grew up in Atlanta. And his yard. I'm actually looking at a video of the inside of the house. A video of the inside of the house because we can't go in. Yeah. Because it's closed for COVID. Moo. Yeah, I can't. Anyway, it's not bad, huh? It's a pretty nice looking house. I'd, I'd love to see the inside. I wonder if these people think here. <laughs> Stay out of our backyards, they're probably thinking all the time. Yeah, so sure. People over here. Huh. Yeah. Next door to his house, there's a shed. Hmm. What'd you say now? So these are big houses. They're dated, definitely, but they're big. Yeah, these are good sized houses, all of them. Hmm. So yeah, this says that Dr. King lived a comfortable middle class life because his dad was a pastor at that Ebenezer church. So there you go, huh? Well, I'm at the Capitol building here in Georgia, in Atlanta, and just a block away, you can see a lot of homeless encampments, which I find, I don't know, sad, maybe? Again, there's the Capitol. You can see all this wealth here, and I'm just surprised that people with this kind of economic distress is this close to the center of government in Georgia. I'm actually across the street from the Capitol now. You can see there are people there sleeping on the street. And again, homeless right next to the Capitol. I'm not gonna lie, I've been to several capitals now. And this is the first time I've seen homeless, basically on the steps. We were just at the capital of North Carolina in Raleigh, which was out in the open. No fence around it. Big fence around the Georgia Capitol building. Hmm. We are at the state capital of Georgia, the building. And, um... Uh, there's my wife across the street. We're gonna attempt to go in. Interestingly, the dome on the outside is covered with real gold. So that's not just gold colored paint, that is actual gold. Yeah, here's the dome here. And of course, it's December, Christmas time. Really, really beautiful in here though. All right, we have a painting of Jimmy Carter when he was governor, 1971-1975. This is the office of the governor. It's kind of cool, you can see right Yep, Brian Kemp is the governor. It's been controversial. I don't know if we can see him in there or not. All right, we are actually in Governor Kemp's office now. Or his waiting area they let us in that was nice of them huh so this is the waiting area to the governor of georgia's <laughs> office we'll see this painting 
it's pretty cool. Wow. So there you go, that's who that is. I don't want to try to pronounce it. Yeah. Interesting. Everybody's working real hard here. <laughs> All right, so there it is. This is the first governor's office or waiting area to his office that we've been allowed in. Did you steal those out of the governor's office? I believe they were for anybody to take. They were in a big bowl. You I was hoping them. it was candy. You stole those Georgia I was peanuts. It was candy. <laughs> yeah, you stole them. <laughs> You're not a Georgia citizen. You're not entitled to those. Georgia peanuts. Mm hmm. All right, so this is a portrait of Martin Luther King hanging here in the Capitol building. That's a beautiful painting, too. Nobel Peace, Nobel Peace Prize. A statue of a Native American chief from the Georgia area. All right, the dome from the top floor. Looking down at their Christmas tree. Not quite finished yet, but still big. And there's stairs up there too. Remember, there's some stairs in Texas one. There's some stairs up there. Picture of downtown Atlanta, 1889. I was wondering what that statue was on the top of the dome, and this is a replica of it. Miss Freedom. So she's kind of similar to the Statue of Liberty, but not exactly the same. 1965 lightning struck Miss Freedom, and she had to be airlifted off for repairs. How about that? Huh? I had made a remark about the stairs earlier, and this shows why they are there. This model it used to be you could walk up there and get a view of the city. But that is closed now. The first governor to employ a salaried woman in the state capitol was Governor William Atkinson. That guy who appointed Helen Dorch Longstreet. Ellen Dorch Longstreet, Assistant State Librarian. She's kind of a looker. But I know what was going on there. What do you think? Hmm? I have no idea what you're talking about. So well, you're, good. Uh, hmm. I remember that. I remember Carter as president. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't good. An elect Jimmy Carter lunchbox. How about that? Here's a governor throwing out a first pitch for a baseball game. The opening game of the Atlanta Crackers. 1931 baseball team. <laughs> wow. Do you think that was an all-white team? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they've probably changed their name by now. <laughs> so there's some things you didn't know about Georgia.
Okay, so we're heading out of Atlanta and we will be going to Birmingham next, but we got to talk about the room. This was a Hilton home two suites, so it's like the lower cost version of Hilton. <laughs> but um, what do you think of the hotel? Well, because it was so um, inexpensive and it really was, um, I think we got a great room. There are definitely some negatives, but, but the room itself, I really like like the two things that are important to me. It had very much, very much so, you know, it had <laughs> in a good way. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the room is great. It's nice and big. Of course, it's nice and clean, which of course I, I, it's very important to me, but it's nice and big, lots of room. It's got two different rooms so he can work and it wasn't getting on my nerves and the bathroom's huge and nice and clean. Um, and the gym, the gym was, you know, well equipped. I really liked the gym. So yeah, the hotel itself was nice. Breakfast sucked. The breakfast sucked. That was a big eh. And, um, <laughs> and something really strange when I asked for an extra pillow or two, the girl told me that they didn't have any. How does the hotel not have an extra pillow or two? Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. So those two things got on my nerves. But my main things were there. And I think she was <clears throat> probably just clueless, but yeah, she's <laughs> right. It's, it's a new hotel. It's in a nice area. It's clean. Um, but you know, one of the big, big, big pillars of these hotels is breakfast. And in this place, it sucked. It did suck. It was, all they did was put out like these Jimmy, you know, those Jimmy Dean breakfast meals breakfast you get. Breakfast bowls. Yeah, breakfast bowls that are frozen, right? That's all they did was they just bought, had bought some of those Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowls, pulled the box out and then set the, uh, you know, the black bowl with the plastic wrap on top. And set that in there. And you're supposed to microwave it. <laughs> And you just took it out and microwaved it yourself. And of course it tastes just like you expect it would. You know, Walmart frozen breakfast. It tasted bland and ugh. And uh, worse, they have one microwave. So we've got like 12 people standing <laughs> around trying to use this one microwave to heat up this food. They're out of OJ. Yeah, they were out of All OJ. three days, okay? I mean, okay, you're out one day. But if you're out of something, Take your ass down to Walmart and buy some more. You could, they could have went to Walmart and bought OJ by the gallon and put it in some sort of jug so we could have OJ. How hard is that? I worked in restaurants for years. That's what they did. That's what restaurants do. Yeah. For some reason, they don't do it here. And then the woman barks at me because I don't have gloves. gloves on. How am I supposed to know that? There are no signs. In the corner, I finally found a little sign in the corner the size of a, a post, postage, or a, a, what do you call it? Post it. A, yeah, maybe the size of a post, a little tiny letters, wear gloves. So no other place has made us wear gloves. No other hotel and no other state. Maybe it's just a Georgia thing, but yeah, that was stupid. It was dumb. The breakfast was lame. Okay, so and the breakfast sucked. We've got that. We got that. So yeah, and like she said, we asked for a couple extra pillows. The woman acted like she had never heard such a thing before at the front desk. It wasn't that, it wasn't that difficult of a, of a request. I yeah. couldn't believe that she said, no, they didn't have any. So. They yes, big it. room. It's a big, huge hotel. How do you not have pillows? Yeah, it's a big room. Nice, lots of good stuff to shopping and restaurants next door. Yeah. Nice bathroom, hot water, good Wi-Fi, but you know, you got to get these breakfast rights if you really want to be, get the good rating in a hotel, so. I still am not going to rate them that bad just because it was so reasonably priced and I really like the room in the gym, so I'm still going to give them like I don't know, 4.1. Yeah, it's no dreary, but I'll, I'll give them like a 3.8. So yeah. there it is. Not, not, not sure if we'll stay at one of these hotels again though. But um, anyway, we're heading to Birmingham, Alabama. So be looking for that video.